What's up, guys? All right, a quick software tech advice. <laughs> It's a new format I'm trying out, but um, just just feels odd to get to the point, right? But whatever, so I like it to the point. <laughs> Anyways, um, something I've been using for my AI needs is, you know, it's called a Runway. So it's a subscription-based service that through a web browser you can upload your images and your work and all the stuff. And then, like you know, from there end they do all the processing power, and then like uh, you know, you get back the images that you want, right? Unlike other software, say I think Diffusion, right, where like you download the software, then it uses your hardware to create your images, right? So this subscription comes with other tools that I use for my work. So part of the reason why I'm subscribed to these guys, right? Now in regards to AI, you are able to generate images with text. So text to image, you know, you can say like, I don't know, uh, something simple here. Let's just say uh, white rabbit running and I hit generate. It takes a while and then like, you know, so far, looks pretty good, right? I mean, actually, that's not bad. <laughs> now, the thing about this subscription-based software service is that it uses like a credit system. As you can see up here, it says 21 generations, right? So I've already been using this service. So I only have 21 left, but I think like every month it gets uh, resetted to up to 100. I can't remember exactly, right? I'm not. A, I just started using this thing. I'm not exactly, haven't really paid attention if there's like a rollover feature. You know, at least I hope there is, right? But I'm on the fence of this software, but that's not the point of this video. The thing is that like, uh, if I want something specific, uh, to create something more out of the ordinary because like this you can say a white rabbit running so ai definitely has plenty of references to use to generate this image that people complain about right <laughs> there's a lot of images of like rabbits running but if you want something particular right uh, something that works for me honestly is using like uh chat uh, gpt that i've been using so say if i want to have like something particular like i don't know a white rabbit cyborg running into space or something crazy like that i can just have like a, i can ask chad GPT to describe that scene for me, right? Uh, so let's like say, describe uh, a sci-fi scene of a cyborg, of a cyborg white rabbit running into space. I don't know, let's just say <laughs> whatever. I hit like uh, send message, and then like a uh, chat GPT does this thing, and then like it does a good job of describing uh, the environment or the scene that you kind of like asked it to do, right? So you can actually take this uh, text here. You know, let's uh, copy. If I go back to my software here, I'm gonna you know, delete that. And then I can just paste, you know, what I just copied. And I can hit generate. Now, obviously, the more detail you are able to give the AI, the more it's able to like figure out what it is that you want, right? So I've been messing around with this lately. And like, um, you get some interesting <laughs> fucking results, right? And these are actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, uh, see, so yeah, okay, see, I messed up here because I didn't add like, uh, a rabbit. Let me. You can actually edit this thing, which is kind of cool. Of a rat, of a cyber white rabbit. Capitalize that shit. Save and submit. Let's see what else it does. See that's my bad. You gotta be pretty uh, correct. Imagine futuristic sci-fi scene where a cyborg white rabbit adorned with the. Okay, seems like to be kind of similar. Let's see what happens. Now this time it should be. These are cool. Uh, you are able to save these. You know, I like these, so I can probably save them for something. Probably just like well, use it for my thumbnails or whatever. But anyways, delete that paste that with, with the actually oh this time let me make sure i had the rabbit right the rabbit cybernetic yeah cool the rabbit is described instead of the fucking uh the description here oh perfect there you go <laughs> that's kind of cool so uh yeah you got some pretty cool results here chat gpt does a better job than i can describing what i want or it gives me a good fucking starting point to describe what i want you know for uh to get an image right so anyways yeah if you want to mess around with ai uh use chat gpt to your advantage like i said i just you know give it like a quick description of what i want and then it's like all right here you go fucking like gives you a pretty detailed description of uh, what he asked it to do and like you can type it in your ai software and there you go this subscription that i got runaway i like it but i still have a hard time recommending it to people uh, mainly because like uh see i just uh by me doing this tutorial now i got only got 13 generations left meaning 13 images which is pretty lame i don't think they give you enough for what you pay they do have a service where you can pay like where you can have a limited you know uh, generations of images but that's a hundred dollars a month and i'm not at a point where i want to pay that much i like this subscription i just don't feel like the value meets really the price that you pay a month so it's kind of hard for me to um recommend this guy but I do like the fact that it has like some tools for editing, which is I use, right? It makes my life a lot easier. In regards to AI, yeah, maybe you want to try just stick to Diffusion if you don't want to pay. If you want a free version, right? But 
again, the point of this video is like, uh, yeah, use chat GPT if you want to like uh, get the help to describe the scene. That way you can get more detailed results like I just showed you. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me for a bit. Talk to you guys later. Peace.